Good morning, Richmond High School. My name is Ruby, and this is the Richmond Weekly News. Buenos días, Richmond High School. Mi nombre es Paola, y estas son las noticias de la escuela. Last week, we were going to have a rally, but it was postponed due to the school lockdown. La semana pasada, íbamos a tener un rally, pero fue pospuesto del encierro de emergencia de la escuela. Can you tell me your name in your academy, please? My name is Benue and I go to Multimedia. Okay, do you know any information about the protest on Friday about the rally? How do you feel about it? Um, I feel like, um, I feel like it was very interesting. You know, I've never seen um, something like that before, someone protesting about a rally, you know? To me, it's like, it's like, just interesting, like I said, you know? But I understand why though, because you know he put his whole time and effort into that rally, and just for them to just you know cancel that, and it's out of pocket, you know, that's, you're like making a, a how is it, seventeen year old or eighteen year old like stress a lot, you know, putting his whole time into that just for you, for, for them to cancel it, you know, it's kind of it's out of pocket, but yeah, I understand where he's coming from, but you know. It's whatever, you know, it is what it is, so, yes. Okay, thank you. Can you tell me your name in your academy, please? Uh, my name is Damian Lewis, and I'm from the Engineering Academy. And your name? In academy? Alfonso Sainz and Nana Academy. Okay, how do you guys feel about the the protests on the rally on Friday? Uh, I feel like it was um, sort of unnecessary because we, um, we already had, like, a gas leak that happened, like, two times. Mm -hmm. And I understand why they canceled it. But I understand why the uh, they protested for it because they already got the because they got it got canceled like once or twice and they w they really wanted to do the rally. So <laughs> what about you? Um, I think you know it's necessary because they canceled it a bunch of times. But I understand why they canceled it because of the gas leak and all the stuff that was happening this week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, can you tell me your name and what are you doing to school? I'm Mr. Hillier. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Richmond High. Okay, can you tell me what happened on last Friday? Why was the rally postponed or canceled? Ah, okay. So um, uh, on Thursday afternoon, uh, we remember that the school did have to go on lockdown. Uh, unfortunately, we have had um, some outsiders trying to get onto our campus and we, uh, you know, security is our number one priority. It's really important that we take care of it. Um, from that, we have to investigate. Uh, investigations take time. So by Thursday afternoon, our administration had to make a really, really tough decision to postpone the rally and the tailgate, um, specifically because we needed to know more about the situation that was going on. And in fact, our investigation did continue into that Friday as well. 
Um, leadership worked really, really hard and all through the night to try to find um, some kind of answer for the security question. And I know that they did a lot of work to prepare for that. Um, unfortunately though, uh, we just had to make that really tough decision. We let, and we met leadership on Friday morning, let them know kind of what was going on. Um, and we recognized that they, didn't really agree with the process for it. So um, our administration has met with leadership um, this week now, uh, and we're excited that the rally is going ahead on Friday, uh, full steam ahead. So we're excited for that. It's gonna be our first one in two years. Uh, we know leadership has worked really hard for it um, and uh, looking forward to it, yeah. I also heard like some students said it was canceled, not postponed. Yeah, and I think that's something that we d discussed with leadership was streamlining some of our communication uh, we want to make sure that everybody understands what is happening, what the decisions were. We had informed leadership that it was postponed, but we did not inform the entire student body and the teachers. Mm -hmm. So definitely misinformation can get out there. Uh, we are excited to say that it's not canceled, that it was just postponed. Okay, thank you. Can okay, me tell you your name and what do you do in the school? Yes, hi, my name is uh, Jose de Leon. I'm the principal at Richmond High School. Okay, can you tell me what happened on Friday, last Friday? Why was there a protest of the rally? Why was it postponed or canceled? So uh, Friday, a couple of things happened um, during the whole week. It was a weird week. We had uh, Monday, the school was closed. And then Wednesday, we had another air um, uh, issue happening in the community. And the following day, we had, as I did, an out call we did have some students on campus from another school that came with a weapon. So it was a, a safety issue for mm -hmm. me at that point. We didn't know who those students were looking for or what was their intention. So it just felt unsafe to move uh, 1,500 students around campus on a rally, not knowing uh, what uh, the problems were. Uh, we didn't finish our investigation until Monday. We didn't discover who these students from this other school were, but now uh, all the right authorities in schools have been notified of what's happening. Uh, so it was an unpopular um, and hard decision to make to cancel the rally, mm -hmm. but it was mainly done for safety reasons. Mm -hmm. um, our security staff identified students that looked at a place on campus, approached them, and was able to uh, see something that looked like a weapon in their, in their belt. So I just I couldn't take the chance of anything happening, mm -hmm. um, which was really hard for the students because it, A, leadership has been working really hard to put together events to try to start normalizing uh, school. Um, and, um, from an administration point of view, we'd like to hear from students and sometimes they they disagree with our decisions mm -hmm. and, and that's part of growing up, right? To be able to voice your, your opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, I have to make decisions about the safety of all the students. Um, so the protest was because they wanted a rally to happen. I had met with the students in the morning uh, to consider some options that were not viable options. Um, so I, I had to uh, cancel the rally. Uh, and the protesters, I think uh, there was a good group of protesters that were stating their, uh, uh, that they wanted the rally. Yeah. And there were a group of protesters that were just taking advantage and hanging out. Um, but a student voice is always important to us. And it was important for us to make sure that students had a right to express themselves. Mm -hmm. I also heard like some people saying that the rally was gonna be canceled, but not postponed. Nope, so uh, the communication is that the rally was going to be postponed. The rally, we were planning for the tailgating and the, uh, the rally for this Friday along uh, we got to figure out what are we going to do for homecoming, if that's going to be possible during halftime of the football game. Uh, definitely going to have senior night for the cheerleaders and the football team on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know, if, and that usually happens before the game starts. Uh, and then uh, we're going to try to make sure, if possible, to have something during halftime. Mm 
I just don't know how that's going to work out. We got an email from Mr. De Leon about the last week's gas leak, and here's what he had to say. The area around RHS has been experiencing some strong smells early morning. Five schools have been evacuated on Monday. The smell came back last Thursday, but it wasn't strong enough to send us home. The school pg and &E and Contra Costa Hazardous West Department didn't know where the smell is coming from. La semana pasada agarramos un correo de Mr. De Leon que decía de lo que pasó de lunes a jueves por el olor de gas. La semana pasada sobre Richmond High School y otras escuelas fueron evacuadas el lunes por el olor de gas que se entró por las ventilaciones de la escuela. Aunque no sabemos cuál es el caso, ni PG, ni, ni la escuela, ni el West Contra Costa Hazardous Waste Department saben lo que ha pasado. This is the end until next time. Hasta el final, hasta la próxima semana.